Hello Doom fans and welcome to PJ Plays Doom. I'm Peter Halls and today I'll be playing episode 2, mission 2 of Ultimate Doom on PR Boom Plus Comp Level 3. This level scores 2 stars on my 5 star difficulty scale for a normal no damage completion. But in this video, not only will I score the 103 monsters, 48 items and 12 secrets on this map while sustaining no damage whatsoever, I will also use only the Berserk Fist. This is the first location in Ultimate Doom that you can effectively get this new weapon. So I'm making things hard for myself, having to punch my way out of trouble in this dead end. How dare you interrupt me when I'm picking up bonuses. Most imps die in one punch, but it's important not to take it for granted. I always need an exit strategy in case they survive the first hit. So I'm covering the crate maze area first. I'm using PR Boom Plus, which makes punching as difficult as in the vanilla Doom engine. Unlike GZ Doom, which makes punching easier. The demon will follow me round here. And that's very convenient. In normal play, the shells in that secret are useful. But I'm only giving out knuckle sandwiches. The three imps in this dead end area would have escaped into the rest of the maze if I gave them time. So more imps are approaching. Oh, bollocks! Yes guys, once I knew I'd be making this video public on the 1st of April, I couldn't resist starting with an outtake. Pause your video if you need to change your underwear, because here is my actual Berserker only, no damage, completion run on Episode 2, Mission 2 of Ultimate Doom. It's not great when the early imps don't die in one punch. I'm activating those imps so that they move into a different position. And my favourite strategy is to tackle this marble room early on. I've made a great start in this room. But the remaining imps are in a bit of a bunch. I want them to spread out more so I can hit one without being scratched by another. I've got to be patient. Now I'm getting better chances. I'm backing my punching rhythm. Wow, I'm not sure why I wasn't scratched there. Just a bit of luck I need. I'd like to deal with these two imps next. I find the small crates off-putting because they block my movement but not the fireballs.
Wow, he needed three punches. The power of a berserk punch is ten times a non-berserk punch, but this also multiplies the random variation by ten. 79% of imps die in one berserk punch, but around one in a hundred will need three. That is one of the 20% that need two punches. Tried to get me from round the corner. Yikes, that was close. As I check the map, 27 monsters means there are definitely no loose imps around right now. And I'm ready to go upstairs to the area with this distinctive four-sided light fixture. Here's a good corner to use. Another for a good jibbing. Now infighting is possible with this demon here, but I can't take too long over it because quite a few imps approaching and... Oh crap, I got lucky there! The demon getting in my way would usually get me hurt by an imp. That's the real risk with demons. I'm not likely to be hurt by a demon directly, but they are very good at making an obstruction when you're trying to dodge imps. I like to collect these odd bonuses from behind the moving platforms so I don't struggle to remember them later. This demon in death mode sees me from behind. And this spectre is unusual, only two in the entire level. I had to pull out there because of the ink firing. I didn't know that I had more company. That could have been tricky. A secret with the plasma rifle, which I won't be using. I know blue armor isn't an item, but I just like to have 200%. The crushers here will help me out. I'm not going to try to be a hero and run between crushers to punch these enemies. I have to be a bit boring to get the job done. So the area is clear for now. As I punch these monsters in here, I'm activating some others approaching a main corridor. so I need to go back out. They are coming from the area just around the corner straight ahead. Okay, I think the coast is clear. Coming up here is a tricky secret that I only recently learned how to reach. You only get one go at it, folks. Step into the light and run for the supercharge. One punch for the spectre, nice. The poison on your way to that supercharge secret can hurt you if you're unlucky. On one of my days attempting this challenge, with hundreds of attempts overall, four of them were ended by the poison. Out of only about six times I got that far. Okay, that's the path to the exit cleared. In this section you have to take care of the blue lights in the floor that are poisonous if you drop into them. So I edge carefully around the light posts to get health bonuses. 
As I wait here with the door closed behind me, I guess it's a good time to mention that this video is sponsored by the Puppy Dog Backpack Company. Haven't you looked at a backpack and seen an adorable little doggy face? It has a smiling mouth and nose and two little ears on top as well. Ah! Oh. Once you've seen it, you can't unsee it. I need to wait for the door behind me to open so that I have an escape route when monsters are released in front of me. Okay, here we go. Infighting is useful here. Oh, I'm going to have to punch some imps. Ugh! It's nerve-wracking having to go round the corner and not seeing exactly where the imp is. That's some nice jibbing. I need to finish off these demons. Oh, that's good. If the imps didn't die first time, I'd have to back off a long way. Now this next group of five imps have hurt me on some attempts. Oh no! Don't be brave! Run away! Run away! Even though punching at corners looks safe, it still needs good timing. As I look at that door, there are imps active on the other side. And I have been ambushed before going out that way, so I've learned my lesson and will go the long way round. I can now get a good look at the sneaky bastards. I notice fireballs from another imp. Fortunately didn't put me off too much. I don't want over caution to make my nerves worse at this stage. I didn't mean to activate him. Phew, got away with it. I don't always know if I'm being positive or stupid in my aggression. I'm now doing the easier parts of the crate maze I've saved up until the end. Oh crap! Oh I don't know how I dodged that, seriously! This must be taking years off me. One of my top two attempts now out of over 2000 attempts. Here, I like to just deal with one imp first, and then that crazy barrel trick which can hurt me when it goes wrong. I must have a death wish. Wanting to do such cool things for your entertainment folks. I think the mobile imps have gone from this area, but there's one hiding. Oh, it's not good for my nerves when they don't die first time. So I'll tag a secret with some shells I don't need. I think the crate maze is clear now. I'll calm my nerves by picking up the yellow key. Following the blue lights in the ceiling keeps me safe from the poisonous blood floor. Yes. It's quite curious that the two yellow key areas in this map are completely separate from each other. I will go to the more difficult one first. I was quite early anticipating that imp. 
As I open everything up, I'm trying for some infighting here. Had to watch out for that fireball. Even though it's a key door, the monsters can open it from the other side. The lost soul will do me a favour. Oh, got away with that. Thanks, here's a token of my gratitude. Crap! The lost soul looked to be attacking, and I don't know how I didn't get hit. As I tag these secrets, and be careful not to blow myself up with a rocket launcher, the map shows just three monsters remaining, and I know there are three demons behind the ugly yellow door. There are no imps left. Surely I won't find a way to screw it up now. Okay, treat them with respect. No funny business. Just get the job done. Ugh. Yes, here are no monsters left. Now don't get poisoned. As I look at the map, there is one secret and 22 items left. And I've just remembered where they are. Just like Pac-Man eating sweets. I'm still wary in case a lost soul is hanging around. 2,000 attempts have made me a bit paranoid, folks. Don't fall in the poison. I think, yes, I'm really done. Wow, that was hard. I can't believe I've finally done it. It's been my dream to complete the map that way ever since I first practiced berserk punching, and would sometimes kill 10 enemies or so without injury. This challenge is extremely addictive because you always think you should be doing a bit better, and punching is very enjoyable. It's easy to get cocky after a few quick jibbings, but every imp requires your concentration. There are no easy kills except for using a crushing ceilings. One little loss of focus and you have to start all over again. For normal no damage play, this map scores 2 stars on my 5 star difficulty scale. The star rating is based on what I knew when I first started attempting no damage play. The only reasons it isn't a 1 star map are the temptation to use berserk punching and my previous ignorance of the supercharge secret. Otherwise it's a fairly straightforward map. I hope you enjoyed the Berserk only demo guys, and I will be making a separate video of outtakes for this challenge which will be coming soon. Let me know in the comments how you get on if you take on this challenge yourselves guys, I'd love to know. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe for more Doom content. Take care of yourselves, and of Doom Guy. Goodbye.